<laughs> right, so I'm a member of the Gordon Highlanders 1914 to 1918 and today we're going to be talking a little bit about this weapon system right here. This is the Smalley or better known as the short magazine Lee Enfield. This rifle is a .303 rifle. This is what the British forces and all Commonwealth forces would have been issued for the First World War. So, this is a 303 rifle. What does that mean? Well, when you open this, it used to shoot 303 caliber bullets. So that is the actual bullet there. This is the brass cartridge that had the gunpowder. What you would do is you would pop that in there, press down with your thumb, close it up, and you have now got five rounds ready of 303 ammo. So, this block here is called the clip. In there could go 10 rounds of ammunition. Then, what you would do is when you're ready to fire, you would see that the extractor pin or the firing pin would be exposed. You point, shoot, and now you know you can chamber another one. Quick and simple. So, this was known as the fastest rifle during the First World War. We could shoot an average of 30 rounds a minute, or that is at least what we were trained to do, sometimes between 15 and 20. The reason for that is because we as a British soldier had to be able to shoot so many rounds of ammunition so that we could get better pay and so that we can get our enemies hit and so that we could advance. So, a little bit more about this rifle. The reason why it's called a short magazine here in field is because the rifle is actually a lot shorter. What made it even more increasingly special is it would fit this sword bayonet. The sword bayonet was used for when we would go towards the enemy and we would, well, for the lack of a better term, batter them to death. So, any more on this rifle? Well, it's a very, very cool <laughs> rifle, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is actually also known as one of the longest serving rifles in British history because this rifle served in a different conversion, the number four in World War II, and as a sniper variant, 7.62, all the way up until the Falklands War of 1982. Any more on that, I'm sure you will be able to find any research. Look out for a fellow reenactor when you're at a military fair, and as always, have a nice day.